Hey guys, another video for the doing business playlist. The last video was talking about burning bridges or not burning bridges and uh, not closing doors. Um, following on from that would seem natural to talk about reputation because the same actions that close doors and burn bridges with specific people can also damage our reputation which can close doors to other people so for example what can sometimes happen is we recognize that that well probably one of the most common ones is to have a falling out with someone and I, I touched on this on the other one on the last video talking about telling people to F off and um, the problem there's obviously a lot of problems with that <laughs> a lot of problems with that but um, one of the problems with that is we it's possible that we've decided that that particular person we won't be doing business with them anymore anyway so there's something in us that thinks well you know so I'll just tell him to F off you know for whatever reason you've decided that you know the, the relationship with that person's coming to an end so you'll tell him to F off the problem is that when we do have a falling out with someone uh, in business um, Let's just, let's just do a scenario. We'll do a scenario that uh, you've been the perfect business person. You've been very professional and you've done all the right things and you've looked after this person and you've upheld your heart, your part of the bargain and, and you've been the perfect professional person and this other person has been an asshole. Um, this is just a scenario, right? It's really the case that someone's totally right, someone's totally wrong, but let's just assume for a moment that, that we're totally in the right, the other person's a total asshole, um, and, and we tell them to F off. The problem with that is, is you've just given them info, uh, ammunition to use against us in slandering us to other people. So for example, if we have a falling out with someone and we have done the right thing, and we have a falling out with someone and don't do business with them anymore, if we still conduct ourselves in a professional way and say, okay, well, I understand and we're gonna go our separate ways, we won't be doing any business anymore, okay, thank you very much and uh, best of luck to you. Now, they, that person can still go and slander us and tell lies about us if they want to, um, but they won't be true. So if we've done the right thing all the way through, anything that person says about us to anybody else is not going to be true, which means that some people may believe it, but usually the truth of situations does come out eventually in the wash. So if we've given them no real ammunition, we've done nothing wrong, said nothing wrong, there's not really anything they can seriously do to do us any harm. However, if we have told someone to F off, that's what they'll use. So if a person was our customer and they were a total asshole and they really needed to be told to F off, um, so we told them to F off, um, that's, that's the bit that they'll tell to other people. So they won't say, you know, I was a total asshole so that guy told me to F off. Of course they won't say that, will they? They'll say, oh, he's rude. That guy at that shop, that guy in that business is really rude, or that girl, that person, that person at that business is really rude, and they told me to F off. And he's telling the truth when he says, or she says, that that story relates that story about being told to F off. That part of it's true, and people will know it's true, because you know we know when people are telling the truth and when, when they're not. So you've basically given him some ammunition to use against you, in telling other people that you're not a good person. So, as difficult as it is, um, we really have to maintain our integrity and our professionalism, even if the other people don't. And I mean, that's difficult, particularly, particularly when the other people are being assholes, you know? Um, it is really difficult to maintain our professionalism and, and, and to be polite and, and so on, but it's worth it in the long run. You know, and, and you know, sometimes we just need to bite our tongue and not say anything. And as difficult as that is, um, it really is the best way to go. You know, it really is the best way to go. So, um, so yeah, to maintain our reputation, to maintain our reputation, and to to try and to try and keep it that 
the only things that people can say about us honestly are good things that, you know, about our reputation. It's, it's really important because it's a small world, you know. I don't know where you guys are living in the world, but, you know, whether it be a small town or a big city, it's amazing how everybody's connected and it's amazing how word gets around and reputation in business, um, you know, as far as a positive reputation in business, it's worth it's worth the difference between success and not success, often. Um, you know, because referral business, the sort of business that comes from people um, telling other people about you and uh, through having a good reputation, uh, is the best business you can get, which might be the topic of the next video. Because really there is no better customer than a customer that's been referred to you by someone else. You know, um, actually that probably will be the topic of the next video. So. So yes, let's let's maintain our reputations. And I think we have to remember if there is some asshole being rude to us and we are tempted to tell them to F off, we need to keep in mind at that time that it's our reputation we're protecting, not his feelings or her feelings. If they're a total asshole and, uh, and we don't really care about them anymore and we're not gonna see, have any contact with them anymore, it's not really their, their feelings or their them that we're concerned about, it's our business. It's our, it's our business and our own reputation that we're concerned about. We have to keep that in mind and just bite our tongue and let that person walk away and finish the, finish the relationship, the business relationship with them with no further comment. As difficult as that can be to do, it's, it's the way to go, obviously. So anyway, I hope somebody found that um, useful and a little bit interesting videos 